The statistics are staggering. The most recent figures report that there have been 739 victims of gun violence in Philadelphia so far this year. 149 of those people have died. That averages one person shot and killed almost every day. You can almost guarantee that every educator in my building will have at least one student who is a victim of gun violence throughout the course of a school year. But what about the day, the month, the year after someone is killed? And when a human life is lost in such a violent way, how does that affect their family, their neighborhood, their whole community? Trigger, a new documentary, tackles these questions by sharing stories from Philadelphians directly affected by gun violence and asking every one of us to reflect on the role we play in fighting it. I'm a black man in a crazy society, right? Not only did y'all shoot me and I, and I survived, but now I gotta survive the rest of my life. The film features all perspectives, family members who have lost loved ones, people who have been shot, and those who have pulled the trigger. Shooting a gun and, and shooting at people, people respected you, feared you. In my mind, I was a legend. There's all these ripple effects and there's all these different approaches to how do we stop this problem and whom does it affect? Trigger is a partnership between First Person Arts and the city's Department of Behavioral Health and Intellectual Disability Services, or DBHIDS. For the film, Gabriel Bryant of the Engaging Males of Color Initiative and Malik Gray sat down at a round table of young men to encourage them to talk about their experiences. That allowed us to really dig deeper into these questions around gun violence and trauma and what do you do to navigate these violent neighborhoods and what needs to happen to help us all together. What do you need? First Person Arts and DBHIDS have set up free public screenings of the film in community spaces all over the city. Every screening features a talkback so audience members can share their own stories. Oftentimes, telling a story can really invoke a sense of pride. They get a chance to let out their, their own experiences, connect with other people. They learn that they're not alone. At every screening, a care team and behavioral health specialist is on call to support audience members should any of their own trauma arise. The goal is to break the stigma around mental wellness and asking for help, and it's working. DBHIDS has seen an increase in people reaching out after the film. I might not get it the next day, I might not get it the next week, but sometime that month I'll get a call or email saying, hey, I met you at the screening for a trigger, um, I need some help. And that's all that we want. Trigger screenings have also sparked conversation and brainstorming around ways to combat the gun violence problem. We're in these rooms with change makers and people who have power and influence and authority, and we want to equip them with the knowledge and the perspective from the film, from the conversations around it, so that they can make Philadelphia a better place. And I hope that the screening allows them a sense of healing but also a sense of conviction to say, what can I do differently in my community that will help make a change so that we can live better lives? We fight because there's something worth fighting for. And that is the lives of each and every one of us. And so I want people to go away feeling like they're not alone, there is help, and to fight. I'm Sheila Watko for Philly Live.